exercise to a degree of exhaustion. Is anybody not exercising here? Raise your arm. <laughs> Would you dare to raise your arm? Uh, somebody is uh, hiding here. <clears throat> okay, to, to get oxygen to the tissues, you've got to move your body, right? You have to have muscle strength. You have to be an image of God. Okay? Paul says, I'm going to say it the way I say after Paul, because he doesn't exactly say this. It says, I, like an athlete, I torture my body. Essentially, it says, I, I treat my body. That's a torture. <clears throat> Make it do things, not what, not what it wants to, but what it has to. Otherwise, I fear I will be found unfit and taken out of the race. That's in 1 Corinthians 9.27. Okay? So, it is my obligation, if I at all accept the magnificence of a creator, to take care of this stuff. It's not an option. So, and you know, exercise, uh, some people, well, yeah, I walk. Well, big deal, right? Where would you be if you didn't walk? She couldn't go into the bathroom if she couldn't walk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm asking, okay, so, well, I walk two hours a day. How fast do you walk? Well, you know, I, I walk. Do you get tired? Yes. What is your pulse when you walk? Well, I don't know. Okay, well. Walk will only be productive for oxygenation if you come into the aerobic range. And that is, if you want to write this down, there's a formula for that. That's 220 minus your age times 0 0.65. That's minimum lowest aerobic. That's where aerobic starts. Now, if you walk, you may get darn tired, uh, sore, whatever. But you're not doing anything for your heart, and you're not doing anything for your oxygenation. Just to the contrary, you just accumulate more lactic acid, which is a poison. So you have to be at, at, at least the minimum aerobic stage. You can do it more. You can calculate what it is. You can go higher, but you really shouldn't go lower. And that should be done for not less than 20 minutes and not less than four times a week. And what, is, what is this number? 220. Oh, number that's your pulse. That's the pulse, yeah, yeah. And again, you know, we, without your physique, without your muscular structure, your bones will not stay with you very long. You're going to have osteoporosis, bone depletion. Your joints will be hurting. You get joint problems. Well, there's all kinds of repercussions for that. So you have to have an organized uh, workout kind of a thing, which is stretch, strength, and speed. You know what stretch is? You know, it's, it's not when you wake up and just do a good thing. But stretch all the various body parts. Strength is using some weights, and speed is aerobics. What's that? Peak training. Yes, yes. Well, you know, Americans are looking for comfort, fast, fast results. Mm -hmm. Well, you show me an Olympic athlete, uh, that's what they would be doing. They don't do that. Even the sprinters for, for the 100 meters or 100 yards. You, you may have some results, yes. But the consistency, the endurance, you have to educate your muscles and your nerves to do what they need to do and to shape themselves as they need to be shaped. 
But if you just do that, uh, I mean, you're going you're to have your heartbeat like that. So I don't know if, if your heart is strong enough to deal with it. You, you, know, you may go into uh, arrhythmia, uh, and, and uh, I, I don't know. Well, that's not what I'm doing. So that's exercise to the degree of exhaustion. And, and that's important. You know, a lot of people there, like I say, I, I walk on this, I do that. No, you got to feel that. And I always ask when I evaluate someone, the, the degree of your exhaustion is that mild, moderate, heavy. How long you exercise? And you know, the, put this all things in a computer, it will tell you your fitness rating. But that's uh, still totally essential. You can eat all you want. If you let your body go, that's going to go. Yes? Is a low resting pulse rate a natural indication of your fitness level? In a sense, it is. Like my resting pulse is somewhere between 48 and, and 62, 64. Yeah. So, you know, if you do a lot of aerobics, yes, because, like, you know, I, I do martial arts. When I need to be explosive, then I let this up. <laughs> like yesterday, I, I participated in four swimming ima- events. Got up on the block four times and you know, did, did my stuff, the butterfly in the back and the rest and all that. And then, I, you know, I, I don't have to have my heart up at 180. I have a much larger <laughs> scale that, that this can go before it, it gives up on me. So. Any questions about exercise? Just do it. <laughs> just, <Yeah. laughs> just do it. <laughs> Nike says just do it, right? 